Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender episode number 9 and 10. Alright, so the previous episode, um, we met Avatar Roku and he warned, uh, not warned, but you know, like he notified Aang that um, a, a meteor or a comet is going to come, which like, you know, you like he said that you have to master all the, uh, like, you know, become a master of your craft before uh, the comet hits uh, the earth, because after that, uh, the fire nation will be unstoppable. So like, Aang needs to do it before that and there is still a little bit of time but I think the time is very less for him to master all the you know elements like he has only the air element mastered. So three elements like mastering one thing is a pretty tough job you know like anything like be it anything mastering that one single thing is a pretty big job. So imagine mastering three elements. So yeah, this will be tough and this will be a, like a race against time. So let's see, like, you know, how, like, you know, how everything goes and like, you know, how he like is able to master all the elements before the comet actually strikes. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, uh, that was what happened. So let's get started. This is episode number nine of Avatar, The Last Airbender. So without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Now I'll need to take my headphones off. Ah, there you go. Oh. I'm doing this because like you know as I heard that there might be spoilers in not this season but the next season so I'm just doing it like you know just to avoid some spoilers and all yeah Okay. The water bending scroll, chapter nine. Okay. What's what's the matter? He's an airbender. He he, he can. Yeah. Okay. That's bothering him. <laughs> wow yeah calm down yeah yeah you can like you know do the basics like yeah that's good that's a great idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's a complete waterfall Oh, he can take a bath now. Nice. <laughs> Momo also took a bath. Come on. Yeah, Aang. <laughs> um, yeah, that sounds fair. Um, oh, he's, he's also training. Whoa. What? <laughs> Mutiny.
Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. No, I think he's meaning it not literally. Not literal meaning. He's saying something else. Or maybe not. Oh my god! Appa <laughs> said, haha, I won't do it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Whoa! Yeah, it's even bigger than her. True. Ooh. Um. Um. <laughs> I can see the pattern here. Well, don't feel bad, Katara. Like, he, he's the avatar. Like, he's supposed to be talented. <laughs> okay, time is probably not the problem now, you know? Seeing Aang like this. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <laughs> I think Ang can probably master waterbending in a few... Take probably a month for him to... Master it. Yeah, let's... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god i really love soka you know like the the little like you know things that he says and all like it's quite entertaining <laughs> hmm okay Oh no. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Nice, nice rhymes. <laughs> uh, we don't have food for money, so uh, money for food, so. What? Okay. Uh... No, Ang. <laughs> yeah, don't buy anything. Oh, wow. What the? Is that a monkey? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, is that the scroll that the title was saying? Oh, nice. That will be helpful. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. That sounds suspicious. 
Pirates? Are they pirates or something? Yeah, the <laughs> merchants. Ah, oh, all that as well. Oh, more money. Okay. Two with two copper. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Okay. Oh no. What the? Um, why the hell are you attacking us? Hmm. <laughs> there. <laughs> Hmm. Oh no. Oh nice. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Oh cabbage. Oh no the cabbage! Oh my god, his cabbage is again. Poor guy. <laughs> Poor cabbage guy. I feel like we're going to meet him again in the future. <laughs> um. <laughs> nice. There you go. Okay. Um, oh! Hmm, that was... Yeah. Oh, nice! That was great. I don't think that was the reason. Oh, maybe, th okay, that is, okay. Yeah. Not only her, like Ang as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and like these are like the only techniques. Like you can go and like you know put it back later on after you learned it. <laughs> you know. Oh my god, these guys are here. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> wow, good. Sungi horn. <laughs> Oh my god, he's... Oh god. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Imitates monkey. Okay. Oh! <laughs> mm, no. I don't think so. Oh! 
calm down like Qatar is like stressed because Aang learned it a lot oh no yeah this is the reason why uh, uh, calm down Qatar oh my god uh, yeah uh hmm <laughs> what what about you <laughs> oh my god yeah she's getting jumpy you know because she herself has been struggling so long and Aang kind of did it just like that it's not natural like oh nice thinking that was pretty intelligent of him Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I hope they don't find her, you know, like Zuko and they're coming. Like, oh no, yeah. God. Great. Oh. Oh no. Oh wait. Who? Oh God. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Oh no! Oh my god, they're here! Okay! Whoa, he's dual wielding! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh no, they got Aang! Oh, there you go! Wow! <laughs> nice, nice, come on, Soka! Soka, come on! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, definitely! <laughs> yeah! Oh. <laughs> nice, they're going to turn on each other. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. That was great. Oh my god. Oh, nice.
Okay, good, good, Momo. <laughs> oh, oh, there, there you go, nice. <laughs> Okay, his back is turned towards the smoke. I'm guessing someone... Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, God. I hope it doesn't get burned in the process. Ew. Okay. Um, you guys, yeah, carry on. <laughs> What's he doing? Okay. Oh my god. No, you can use air bending or water bending. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice, there you go. Are they gonna steal the ship? <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Zuko! <laughs> Funny. Oh. Wow. Can, and can you, like you know properly use water bending now? Kind of. Okay. There you go. The whip. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on, Momo. You're intelligent, you can do it. There you go. As I said, Momo is intelligent. <laughs> wow, wow. That's a great technique. Oh no. Water bending. Can you do, use. Oh god. Um, what? <laughs> well, that helped in a way, so. Yeah. Where's Appa? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Appa, come on, Appa. We need you. There you go. <laughs> right on time. <laughs> that was good. Oh, that brought him. <laughs> wow, that's good. <laughs> the boat got destroyed. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no, <laughs> she <didn't> throw it away. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's natural to get, like, you know, bother. 
<laughs> yeah, he got it. <laughs> True. Okay. Wow, that was great. Fantastic episode. I loved it. Um okay, so yeah, that's the end. Okay, <laughs> that was episode number um 9. So, um <laughs> This was a really great episode. Uh, I loved it. Like, you know, the, especially the humor in this, that was fantastic. And, um, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, first of all, we get to, uh, know that what's actually happening. Like, you know, they need to, uh, master, like Aang needs to master, uh, all the elements in a few months. So like, I was thinking that, like, as I was saying, like, you know, like to master a certain thing, you need so much time looking at it like, like like you know right now i think that the time will probably be not a problem you know because ang is so talented he can like you know like learn everything so quickly obviously these are like basic stuff that katara taught him i know that you know like in the future probably he'll going to like learn some like advanced technique and stuff those will take probably time but still like the like as katara said like you know i like you know needed two months to learn it now uh, taking uh, ang's uh, words into like you know like consideration as he said that uh, yeah you learned everything from yourself but you are a teacher for me now so that's why i'm learning it quicker like taking that into consideration the two months span that katara needed to learn the water bending technique would have probably she would have probably learned it in one month if she actually had a teacher so like like even considering that a one month like you know uh, like like a one month uh time frame is quite a big you know time frame uh, like you know in which like in which time and covered in a couple of minutes you know like some some kind of lesson which uh needed probably need one month to learn and learned it in a few minutes so that really puts him had a big advantage so i i think probably in the future like you know if there's some kind of technique water bending technique which you need Mm, let's see uh, like which you probably need five months, you know, like some kind of water bending advanced technique uh, Which someone probably needs five months to learn and could probably learn it in five days Something like that, you know, uh, I don't know like I'm just making guesses here. So because of that uh, I think the time will probably not be a problem at least like you no know, time to learn the techniques time to master the uh, water bending the uh, like, you know element bending techniques it will obviously take time to move from one place to another, you know, like as they're, they're saying, like it will take weeks to actually uh, go to the North Pole and to the water bending tribe. So that will take time, but learning the techniques will probably not be such a big deal for Aang. It will be, you know, he needs to work hard, but it will not take as much time as others need. So that's one thing that I think we should, like, you know, like, you know that like that's one problem that i thought he would face it's not a problem anymore probably i don't know let's like you know see what happens actually like i might be wrong um, like who know maybe um, like maybe like he just learned these techniques so quickly because they're beginner techniques something like that might also happen but yeah obviously he's an avatar and as katara said that infinite wisdom stuff like that <laughs> you know like uh so yeah he'll probably learn all the techniques very quickly and <coughs> okay and when <coughs> okay and then we get to see uh like uh zuko and <coughs> uh you know his team they uh, actually <laughs> go to do some shopping in this place and because uh, and also like shop for the lotus style so <clears throat> I, I, you know at that moment i was thinking that he was talking about the lotus style in some kind of symbolic manner you know some i, I thought like maybe he's mentioning some kind of person who is required and uh, turns out he was literally talking about a lotus style <laughs> you know uh, something like that. that was funny but yeah and okay and then <clears throat> <clears throat> we get to see the portion where obviously like Katara like teaches Aang. Now that's very uh, you know like quite um, like what can I say? Like it was good that Katara actually thought about something like yeah like let me teach Aang so that he'll be able to you know <clears throat> know the only like you know know the basics at, at least so that he can resume it in the uh, North Pole. 
uh, uh, by water bend, like you know, learning from the actual teachers. So now, obviously, like she was frustrated at that moment because, as as she said, like I've been like, trying to learn water bending for so many so much time. So suddenly seeing Ang coming and like learning everything in just a matter of seconds, uh, yeah, that's bound to make you angry. Like you know, like nothing you can do about it. That's human nature. So <clears throat> nothing wrong about that, but like you know like she kind of uh, in the end kind of learned her lesson in a way and she realized that yeah like even you know like everyone has their own pace and like someone learning something better than you in a matter of time like in a matter of seconds and taking much less time than you does not mean that you yourself are a failure so like as, as like you know like everything everyone has their the time they need like someone might take you know five months to do something some might, might take one month to do something like it might like it differs so like every person is different and here we're talking about a literal avatar so yeah like like you know like she should definitely like you know not bother about that and try to do something which would help her instead so i'm sure like you know she, she kind of learned the lesson but obviously it's, it's bound to bother you you know like like she's so passionate about water bending and suddenly seeing ang coming and like mastering everything in matter of seconds uh, whereas she herself after like giving so much effort was unable to do anything yeah i can't blame her for that no one can blame her for that <clears throat> yeah and then we meet the pirates here and uh, the water scroll now um like the water scroll now I don't know if there was something else in it, but it, like you know, like as far as I noticed, it only had the postures in it. So like you know, basically like seeing them and memorizing. But okay, that's pretty difficult to do. You know, like I can understand. Like you need the scroll for a certain amount of time. But like this scroll is kind of what can I say? Um, uh, like you know, reusable. Like isn't it? Like it's not some kind of magical scroll which you like you know if you learn the technique the writings will vanish or something. It's nothing like that. So it's just like a scroll with the techniques in there. So if you after you've learned it, like you know, learned every each and every technique there, you can just sell it back to someone, you know, like who to someone who probably needs it. Something like that. So this is a reusable thing, isn't it? So Yeah, but still like these kind of things needs like you know, like are quite costly and we are talking about pirates here like they are obviously going to charge more so yeah <clears throat> and uh, yeah and then we get to see like you know uh, ang learned the water whip technique uh, katara getting angry at that and then excuse me <clears throat> then they are like you know katara takes the scroll and tries to learn it in secret gets caught and we get a fight here now <clears throat> like it's good that katara did not fall for the necklace thing you know like uh like i know like i, I was quite like you know i, I was quite uh, not like not concerned but a bit yeah kind of say you can kind of say concerned there because like usually in these types of situations like people like you know things that have sentimental value to someone especially the necklace to katara that might kind of like you know change her mind i was thinking like like I hope she doesn't change her mind, but that that was unfounded. Like I can now understand. Like you know, this this scene kind of let, made me realize that yeah, Qatar is not that type of a person. Like you know, she is like she definitely won't betray them, even if it like you know, even if it's something of a like, huge sentimental value to her, just like the necklace. Like when <clears throat> like you know Zuko like presented the necklace to her and said that tell me like you know take me to the boy and I'll give you the necklace. Like, I really like the fact that she didn't even hesitate, you know, like if, if she can like, you know, like hesitated thought that, oh, like, you know, like he's giving me this, but I probably like, you know, should not betray them. And then said that, no, I won't like give, like, you know, I, I won't uh, tell you the place. Uh, it would have been okay, but I feel better knowing that she didn't even hesitate to coming to a decision. She just said that, no, I won't do it. Like then and there, even after like being presented with the necklace. So that was good and now i can understand like you know how like these episodes like you know like these has a very big significance as well like we can actually gauge how people are here like different characters they are they are obviously the characters have been introduced 
but at the same time like these small little incidents that are happening are letting us know what each character is about like you know how their personalities zuko as well like you know we got to learn how zuko is as well in these few episodes uh katara in this episode and soka in a way in the, uh, like you know one of the previous episodes as well ang as well like, like you know small little incidents like this are showing us how they are actually from the inside like that's another big thing like these like these really constitute like you know like uh contribute to the character development that's probably going to happen in the future as well so it's really good to like you know like see these kind of <coughs> incidents which actually show us how these people actually are because we've just met them like it's barely 10 ep the nine episodes we have been like you know interacting with these characters so these like you know kind of shed light into their inner workings as well Anyways, and then the, we have a hilarious fight, you know, where Soka kind of, <laughs> like, that was, like, uh, amazing, like, you know, Soka kind of, like, turned the whole thing around by actually, like, making them, uh, like, you know, like, uh, fall for the trick that, like, you know, their greed kind of won in the end and they got tricked uh, as uh, Aang and all of them run out, runs away with the ship, <laughs> like... <laughs> Like that was great and um like they started fighting against each other and then <clears throat> they lost everything so and uh <laughs> the fighting was also hilarious you know like especially the section where like you know ang kind of stops the you know blows away the smoke and he realizes that there are people around him and he like brings back the smoke again <laughs> and says never mind i'll find you <laughs> all those stuff and then katara and them kind of like you know uh work together do the water bending thing and take the ship runs away and <laughs> zuko is laughing ha 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 like you fools those people took your boat and then they realize that his boat is also taken <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, and then like you know uh, like we have a little fight again and all the boats crash Zuko comes in and he says that oh my god our boats are gone what what the hell should we do and in the end like his name is Iro isn't it uh, the master yeah uh, like you know he says that oh like you know the funny thing <laughs> the lotus <laughs> tile is actually in my sleeve was actually in my sleeve wow that was a perfect end to this <laughs> episode <laughs> oh my god that was fun <laughs> <laughs> and I know and Zuko like takes it and throws it away <laughs> oh that was hilarious that was a very funny like you know section and um yeah and then they apologize to each other and yeah everything is good now oh and the bison whistle also works we also got to know about that so yeah everything is great and like it's funny to see how like you know <laughs> wherever Zuko goes like, you know, somehow, some way or the other, but it, I think it's kind of the opposite. Wherever Aang and his team goes, Zuko kind of ends up there. <laughs> like, you know, without even knowing. <laughs> oh, God. So, technically, Iro was actually, like, you know, like, right in, like, you know, in, in a way, because he actually led Zuko to Aang, even though it was, like, you know, coincidence. So... <laughs> yeah that, that was great um yeah anyways okay so uh, let's get started with episode number 10 of avatar the last airbender so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started <clears throat> all right so here's the count three two one go So they said that um, it will take probably um, a few weeks to reach the North Pole. I'm guessing that will constitute like four or five more episodes where we'll be seeing them making the journey to the North Pole and then probably we'll reach the North Pole and Ang will start learning about water bending. Something like that. All right, time to take off the headphones. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay, ah, uh, my God.
so the journey actually takes away a lot of the time you know like actually the journey from one place to another like that itself is quite lengthy so like it's not only learning the techniques it's also okay chapter 10 jet it's also like going from one place to another that takes the majority of the time what the oh Oh, what? Oh no! Momo got caught! What the hell? Someone's actually... Oh no! Okay, Ant can do... Yeah, there you go. Nice. <clears throat> Someone's trapping them. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I okay, wonder who's trapping them. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, um, people might be notified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> True in a way. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. He's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh my god katara <laughs> saga's instincts <laughs> yeah oh no don't get tr oh 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 no oh no saga's instincts what have you done? Saka's instincts failed. Oh my god, he's a burning! Oh! Oh, nice! She even put it back. Yeah, right. Yeah. What the? No, he didn't do that. <laughs> Who the? What the? Oh, wow. Well, what, what, what is that weapon? That's a really interesting weapon. Oh, -ho! we have reinforcements as well. Oh. oh damn Wow they're like ninjas Okay Oh ho -ho. Ah <laughs> Oh my god, the, the weapons, the bend the... That's a really interesting weapon. Wow. It's not for like, you know, hurting people, it's just to... Like, you need techniques to actually use this weapon, like, you know? Um... 
Wow, they cleaned the place up. Okay. Jet. Oh. Whoa, some cool, cool initial names. Uh, wait, he speaks quick? <laughs> oh! Oh my god. So they're the freedom fighters, like... <laughs> what's it? Soka's face. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Soka's, Saka's instinct. Blasting jelly? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, obviously freedom fighters need a hideout. Oh, up on the trees. Oh, ha! Yeah, he's a airbender. Oh my god, what the hell? Yo, what is this? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> wow, Aang is having the time of his life. <clears> hmm. <throat> The, the freedom fighters uh. okay good <laughs> is that soka ah uh. Oh. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Sokka's not impressed. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Wait, he doesn't believe? Oh. Whoa. Whoa, he can make bird calls. Oh, that's a code name. Okay, uh, code. Okay. Oh, wait, it's a... 
Um. What? What the? Yo! What? Wait, he's, he's just an old man. What the hell? Come on, like, okay, like... Yeah, like, what the hell? So what? Like... He did not kill his mother, what the hell? Like, they're doing the same thing as the Fire Nation are doing, that means. Like, what? Okay, this is not okay, like... Whoa, they're too, like... Whoa, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No. So what? Like, like that doesn't mean. Yeah. What? Wait, really? Okay, I, I don't believe him. I think Saka's right this time, like, what? I think he's right, you know? Oh god. Like, I, I understand what he's trying to say, like, you know, like, Jet, like... The what the firebenders are actually bad guys, but that doesn't mean like you know even the civilians are at fault. Like what the hell? Okay, what are they doing? Wait a minute. Yo, this guy is... This guy is crazy. He... Oh my god. Not only him, these people are as well. Like... Yeah, th this guy is trouble. Wow. 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 Okay, this guy's
He is very manipulative. Whoa, what the? Wow, look at him. God damn. <sighs> yeah, right, because you can do your scummy stuff, you know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, go, go, go to the reservoir. Yeah, that's great. That's that's a good. I don't think they'd care. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on. Ha! <laughs> nice. Not work. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, wait, how did he? Yeah, go, Ang. Oh god, no! Oh, thank god. No, what the heck? The <sighs> this guy is... Yeah, he is a very... Um, he's an airbender, he can do anything. Whoa. Wow, that's a really... Oh. Okay. Nice. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, d there you go. Nice. Whoa, she can freeze. Nice. Oh, God. Oh no, the signal! 
She's signaling. Okay, I, I think Saka might be there. Like, you know, he might. Oh no, his glider. Yeah, he can. Okay. Come on, Saka. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Did he evacuate the people? That might work. I hope he evacuated the people or do, did something. Shut up. There you go. Yeah. I'm glad that they did not arrest, like, you know, Saka, the Fire Nation people. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that was um is that the end? Yeah. Okay, so first of all, uh now here's the thing. Like you know like according to Jet, you know he in his defense he says that yeah these are the fire nation people so we should wipe them out even if it's civilians even if like you know all of them now here's the thing like i can understand like you know uh, like killing uh, harming the fire nation soldiers the people who are actually trying to harm you but that does not like you know mean that the people who have done nothing about it just the civilians they also need to get the same treatment that is one like, you know one of the most flawed you know like what can i say um reasoning that i've ever heard like what like what is this like this means that the things that one's country does does not mean that the people should suffer for that like everything that's happening here the war that's happening none of the civilians i, I I'm sure like a few people support that in the civilians people you know in the civilians a few people do, does not support that and few people are neutral about that that's not the point here the point here is they are not actively involved in why the war is happening how the war is happening you know everything that that's happening is happening on the you know upper like you know the on the upper administrative you know like uh, what can I say like people who are running the country are doing that you know the war that's actually happening the civilians here are not at fault so why should they suffer for the sins that uh, like you know for the bad stuff that someone else is doing now like this is like the thing here um <clears throat> you know the most flawed portion of his thing is he says that his mom and dad has died and you see what happened why did the mom and uh, his mom and dad die some must be some kind of like you know the fire nation top people like you know involved the citizens in that I, i'm guessing his mom and dad were citizens I'm, I'm not sure they might be freedom fighters who knows but still like i'm making an assumption here like the fire nation people you know the top people who are actually waging the war here they involved the citizens and that's why he lost his mom and dad he's doing the same thing here he is doing the same thing that has been done to him to the people of the like you know of this town here like we saw a ch child there you know a little child uh, some old people 
Now, now imagine if, like you know, if there's a similar person like Jet, who, um, you know, is is not on that in that village for the time being. He is outside doing something. Jet does this, like you know, uh, carries out his plan. The whole place washes out. Everyone dies. The person comes back, sees this, and he gets enraged. He understands that yeah, some like you know rebels actually did that. And now he gets a whole new revenge psychology that yeah I will kill everyone, you know like uh, who like you know harmed my parents and my family in, who was living in this place, and he goes on another, you know like revenge like you know it, it continues it continues like this. So what he's actually doing is like he's doing the same thing that Fire Nation Village did to him. So that's like one of the most flawed like you know his his like theory. It's one of the most flawed things that I've ever heard. Like, like, yeah, I should like you know also like the civilians should also suffer uh, what uh, the Fire Nation people did to me. Like that's one of the most like you know flawed things I've ever heard. Now, like, in a way, I can say that it's not that he's pure evil. It's just that he is a person with some what can I say, a flawed understanding of what actually happened like he he lost his way that's all i can say like you know he lost his way he probably he would have turned out to be a pretty nice guy if circumstances were different but circumstances kind of made him go towards the wrong direction and that's the major thing that's at fault here so like in a way like that is kind of uh you know mm, what can i say like uh, like that's one way of thinking about this that yeah he is completely like you know not pure evil unlike some other people who are basically doing this war just for their own profit and stuff like you know they are they are the actual evil people here but still the thing that he was doing is not you know good in any ways so yeah he had a flawed reasoning and he definitely needed to be stopped and he he was stopped by Katara Aang and Sokka so that that's one thing that I'm glad about. Uh, just a sec. That's one thing I'm glad about. So that now I hope like I don't know what's he going to do after this. Maybe like you know like either he can he might continue doing all of these stuff and someday get caught by the Fire Nation people and you know being executed or something. Like he'll I might either go that way or he might try to mend his ways, which I doubt he's going to do. I think he's going to continue doing this. I don't know like who knows because like, in the end I didn't see any kind of remorse in him so that's why I'm saying that he, yeah he he might continue doing this who knows like we might meet him in the future episodes again like I don't know we might meet him so let's just wait for that or this might be the end of his story yeah and uh, like at the beginning I was like you know the whole freedom fighter thing that was happening here and there and then when like you know like he was uh, with Sokka and Sokka was also helping him I was thinking okay now probably Sokka and you know Jet will kind of um, what do you call it like become friends in a way because you know like they're actually like uh, doing stuff together and like this might uh, like you know make Sokka actually understand Jet a lot better but I never expected something like that happening, like him suddenly uh, trying to attack an old man. Now, one thing here, the thing with the knife that he was saying, like, you know, like, oh, like that guy was an assassin. You know, he brings out a knife and there's like this poison thing in it. And he says that he was trying to uh, kill me. Now, here's the thing. Saka says that I've never seen something like that before. Like, so it can go like, you know, there might be... Like it can go like two ways like either like he was lying at that moment i'm talking about uh jet he might be lying and he might be fabricating the evidence i think that has a bigger chance of actually happening because i also didn't see anything the old man like you know like they took his belongings but the old man didn't seem like an assassin and we all also the old man kind of vouched for Saka in the like you know when he was saying that yeah i went to the village and told them but this old man vouched for me so i doubt he's an assassin so yeah, I don't think he, he was an assassin. So, so the thing here is like he actually did that himself. Now that's even more scummy, you know, the thing that he did that fabricating evidence, 
like okay i can kind of understand if he was actually like you know thinking that yeah this guy might be an assassin like, you know he might be trying to kill me or like he was under the impression that yeah like this guy is a fine nation person so he might be a threat so i should you know like remove him these type of like you know thought process even if they are wrong i can kind of understand because as i said like you know he has been like you know uh, like has this whole revenge thing going on so that might cloud his judgment i can like you know think it about it like that but the thing that he did if he really fabricated the evidence and planted that evidence just to paint an innocent you know old man as a like you know a, uh, what do you call it a, as a criminal like that's that's even more bad in my opinion like like what the hell like as i said like if if everything that he did was a result of his him actually falling victim to the revenge like you know hatred thing and that clouds his judgment i can kind of understand that because as we know like you know revenge and hatred these kind of things kind of blinds people and they might do a lot of things that they might probably regret in the future you know doing so like i can kind of like you know understand it like that but he's deliberately like you know fabricating evidence like tricking people manipulating people just so that it can go his own way that's worst you know that's even worse than like actually being uh, like blind you know blindsided by hatred that's even worse than that and i think that's the most bad part of him i did not like like you know in the end when i actually realized that yeah he he's actually manipulating people to do his like you know like uh, to go along his like plans and everything uh, like katara like ang in a way and also other people i i realized that yeah this guy is not good like, you know like in the end i kind of realized that yeah like i probably won't like this guy because like we have like you know like a lot of animes kind of bring this whole like hatred revenge thing where people actually gets like you know their uh, like judgment gets clouded because of the anger and the hatred of vengeance you know like a lot of animes does that and there are also a lot of characters who actually fall in that category ultimately that kind of turn out to be a good person you know and we kind of understand that yeah it's actually a uh, fault of the circumstances that he was in so it's not that he's a bad person it's just he's a victim of the circumstances this happens but in this like you know episode like in the end i realized jet is not that type of a guy like you know like like he actually is manipulating people actively so that like you know things go along his way so he's even worse than that so yeah like i'm like you know i'm like in the end i'm of similar opinion with katara i don't like him and uh, i'm not sure if we'll get some kind of like you know like usually it's not, stuff like this happens like in the like you know probably in the future episodes we might see some kind of redemption arc or some kind of like you know uh, how like you know we actually feel sorry for that person who we kind of hated all along something like that like you know in animes and a lot of like tv shows this stuff happens i'm not sure if he'll get something like that so like you know like but currently yeah i don't like him so that's it okay anyways uh, i talked a lot about that now a few things to mention here first of all his weapons were extremely cool it was some kind of hook kind of thing you know like he, and that you know, using that actually needed technique like you know like you cannot just like slash away you, you actually need to like calculate the position timing of your enemies attacks and use it accordingly like that's a really cool thing and he can also use it to climb places and you know like and i think in the end he kind of did another thing where he kind of you know like attached the hook of one weapon with another weapon and was like you know, kind of swinging it like a chain <laughs> that was quite cool you know like i really liked that um i'm not sure if that weapon actually has a i think it probably has a name you know i don't know about that but yeah like that was a really cool weapon mm. ah. okay and then um what else yeah, and yeah and saka in the end kind of like you know <laughs> in, the, in the beginning we're kind of like you know making fun of saka's instincts like you know i was also making fun of it like uh saka's instincts <laughs> saka's instincts was wrong and stuff like that but in the end we kind of got proved wrong as saka said like you know sometimes my instincts are wrong sometimes it's right so yeah like 
<laughs> something like that and this time in like you know in the actual crucial time his instincts were correct and obviously like you know like uh like i actually saka realized that jet is not a like you know proper guy like you know proper like good guy because he went with jet and jet actually thought like i think jet like as he was saying in the end like you know jet was saying that i thought you would like you know uh like believe like you know you would come on my side like jet i think made that mistake and like i know you know what i think happened like jet met these people Ang, Katara and uh, Saka. Now he realized that Ang and Katara would be easy to manipulate and you, he can you know, you know bring them in his side quite easily. So he was a pretty wary about Saka but at the same time he felt that Saka might be someone who is similar to him as he said that I thought he was similar to me you know. So he actually thought about like you know like talking with Saka and actually like you know trying to bring him to his side. You know in a, quite a different way because he knew if he said the truth to Katara and Aang they would definitely not help them him so he actually lied to Katara and Aang in a way and manipulated them in a pure like you know uh, like you know like in like how people manipulate others just like that like lying to them like he manipulated them in that way whereas uh, in Saka's case he actually tried to bring him to his side by actually telling the truth in a way like, you know and showing him his like bad side so that's why he brought cut like you know uh, Saka with him to and like did the thing with the old man and all that stuff and um, like he thought Saka would join him whereas he did not actually realize that Saka would not do that you know like Saka is quite different from him so like then like the only thing left is to like you know capture Saka and like you know transport him somewhere else so that Aang and Katara does not actually get what's happening. So that was probably his plan, what he was trying to do. But in the end, like it kind of backfired as Saka was able to, like you know, trick them uh, when they were bringing him to the somewhere to like you know confine him, and he tricked the other two soul people. I think their name was Mel something and Duke something like that. I forgot. And yeah, and tricked them, uh, made them trigger the traps, and he actually went and helped the people. And um, now like in this like you know like i thought maybe saka would go to the you know the reservoir and take the what called those like those bomb things you know those uh gunpowder thing that was there not gunpowder it's something with jelly or something i can't remember so yeah he i also thought that he would go there and either like you know uh, kind of uh place them somewhere else move them or do something to the arrow that they were fighting, you know, like actually stop it or something, shield it. I was thinking something like that might happen. But he actually went to the village and told people. That was, I think that was the tougher job that he took. Like, you know, like actually going and convincing the people. Like that's, like, you know, that's even more tougher than actually going to the reservoir and kind of like, you know. But, you know, like, uh, I'm sure like in the near the reservoir there are guards. So I'm guessing it would have been a difficult job to actually go and uh, move the gunpowder from there so what he did in the end i think yeah his instincts kind of was right in this uh like you know circumstance as well so that was a right call in a way but it was a difficult job you know like if the old man did not vouch for them i did not i do not know what they would have done but yeah at least like you know like it worked and the people are safe now yeah, and I think like you know like the uh, uh, the Fire Nation like army that were posted there, I think they did not recognize Saka and thought that he was just a passerby or something like that. So that's why like he kind of was able to sneak out, or he took like you know like in the confusion he snuck out of that place without letting the Fire Nation army know. So yeah, everything's fine in the end. So yeah all swell that ends well i guess and and we also saw like uh, like you know katara's like katara used this power before as well like you know freezing so water bending like you know kind of changing the properties as well in a way she can so that's cool hmm. let's see if there's anything else Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was it. So yeah, guys, that was it. And uh, that was my reaction to uh, episode number 
9 and 10 of avatar the last airbender so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching oh god something fell down <laughs> thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys uh, next week with two more episodes of avatar the last airbender so until then goodbye and have a nice day